Hey, everybody, another quick update for you. Um, some COVID news and some new merch that's available that I think is pretty neat, but I'm going to start with the COVID information. Guys, once again, I'm just reporting the facts as I find them. I am not the Florida spokesperson for COVID, nor do I represent Universal Studios in any way. I'm just giving you the facts as I find them. Uh, this is according to uh, University of Florida. Uh, so a, a new study coming out of the university uh, is predicting that new infections have already peaked and the cases will once again peak soon in Florida amid the Omicron variant. It says this, I'm just gonna read right off of the uh, report. Uh, university of Florida has released updated data from its COVID-19 model prediction, predicting how the Omicron variant of the virus will spread on the coming weeks and the months with some positive news. So here's what it says. According to University of Florida and WFTV, COVID-19 transmission has already peaked in the state of Florida, so that's good news. It does predict that this wave alone will infect the good majority of the state's population, significantly more so than the Delta wave did in 2021. But preliminary data suggests that the Omicron infection may be less severe than those caused by the Delta, Delta variant, particularly among the vaccinated. Despite causing more infections, it's possible that substantially fewer deaths will result from the Omicron wave. And the University of Florida is estimating that Omicron will cause potentially a third fewer deaths than were caused by Delta, which is good news. Now, granted, any death is bad news, but that's certainly a good preliminary report. Now, they also report this may not necessarily translate into recorded case numbers. However, as limitations in testing capacity and milder infections in the vaccinated and reduced sensitivity to some tests of the Omicron variant may inhibit recording new cases, we're just going to have to wait and see as this presents itself. Uh, case numbers are expected to peak within the next 10 days, with hospitalizations peaking around January 22nd. But good news, hospitalizations are not expected to surpass the numbers seen during the Delta variant wave. Also, according to WFTV, the data suggests that there may not be another wave of COVID-19 infections in Florida for at least six months, unless some new serious variant emerges. All in all speaking, pretty good news. Um, moving on, so we have uh, a new Ghostbusters snapback hat. It's going to cost you $26. Uh, it uh, was found in the film vault at Universal Studios there in Florida. And then also in this one that I'm actually looking forward to, probably going to pick this one up, is the Starbucks Been There mug ornament. Now I have this mug and I love this mug. I use it every morning uh, with my coffee. And now there is a Christmas tree or holiday ornament uh, version of the mug and I plan on getting it. And so that is your update for today. As always, guys, do your research, make an informed decision. If you're going to go to Florida, you might want to consider these things, but I would not let this stop me from going. I would just be precautious, be cautious and, and make informed decisions. In any event, go bless somebody else today. Do something for someone else. Watch what happens in your life, and we'll see you.